Hi, this is Nick Bliss with Connected Survivors. Coming to you to talk about strength. There are so many times giving up is so easy. Sometimes that's where my strength becomes greater to not give up. Being misunderstood, not being able to say the right things at times, being socially maybe uh, not agreeing with everyone has always run me into trouble at times. My strength comes with the essence of life, of, of finding the, the things that create life. I like to draw. I like to be imaginative. I was always told I was the, the thinker, or I would days off in class that I wasn't paying attention to what's going on. The ability of understanding what is going on has not always been, to my understanding, what people see what I do. Others see me doing something that I'm not aware of. I'm sure some of you can agree. Some of I don't understand that. That's okay. But being real and connecting survivors and understanding that I myself had to overcome so many different fears that other people look at me differently because I speak differently. Sometimes I say, I'm a philosopher. Sometimes, you know, oh, you have lofty ideas. But I'm right here now, sitting beside you, hopefully, sometimes soon. Being a doer. This organization has been created. I talked about it seven years in advance. And it may have taken seven years to really get it together. But it's here. So people may say, I'm a dreamer, but I'm actually doing. I became an artist as well. I wasn't able to live my career. Oh, that was dance. So let me tell you another story. I danced for right around 15 years. I became a professional ballet dancer and choreographer for many studios, many churches, many productions. I came up to Orlando. I went to their program of dance in their company. It was great, it was excellent. I was received for the first time in a long time. I had a lot of ambition. I was 25 years old. They said, you don't belong here. You belong somewhere different. I said, all right, where's that? They said, Juilliard or Cornell for choreography. Go ahead and get your ready videotapes and things like that to be able to go see something different. I said, all right. Two days later, I've been making the videos and getting that ready to be an audition. With these big colleges for dance, it's all about auditions. People sit in front of a camera and watch what you do, how you do it, or get critiqued. Just like a, an essay, but for movement and how you ex execute it correctly to their point of view. Later that night, I was in a parking lot and I got jumped by five guys. Wrong place, wrong time. I was brutally attacked. My life changed. They uh, broke my eye column. I lost all sight both eyes. One history of blindness in this eye. My life, my career was over. I had nothing to live for. I had overcome a lot of my life with a TBI. Now I can't see. I got seven herniations in my spine, five in my neck. I have internal bleeding for over six months. I can't see still after six months. I found a company called Baskin Palmer Eye Institute. Begged them, is there anything you can do to help bring my eyesight back? Is there anything you can do? They said, nothing, you can't afford us. I said, could you please help me? I'll do anything. Two weeks later, a doctor reached out to me and said he would do a charity case in my behalf. He heard the story for what happened. 
I went through 12 months of the unknown treatment. He said there's going to be no guarantees, no promises for what this will do. I said, I'm willing to give anything. I went through a chemotherapy process and some other aspects, and they would scan my eye every single time. I was in there once a month or twice a month, depending upon the level of severity. There was blood so lodged in my retinal tube and detached, they weren't sure what they could do for me. But I had hope. Just something. I couldn't sit there and let it deteriorate anymore. After 12 months of treatment, chemo, losing hair, taste, I regained 87% of my vision in my right eye. I was grateful. I was grateful for the small things. I realized I had hands that could touch. I realized I had eyes that could see, maybe not as clear or what it was before. But I realized that this journey began. This journey began so much more. I had PTSD. I couldn't sleep. I would wake up screaming, punching the pillow, punching the walls. Any little door click in the, the, the parking lot, if I would walk outside. A click, someone dropped a bottle, something broke. It startled me inside out. This lightning would go through my system like un untold. Three years later, I still was going through it. I went through spinal rehabilitation therapy. Life is what we make it. My passion became how do I utilize anything I have to give back? I'm not a millionaire. I didn't grow up with money. But my passion was not about money, it was about touching hearts. To live as if life's okay. Make it the best you can. To never give up. They always say, you're almost there. You're almost, and you go to what? And then you find out the next day he wins a millionaire, he wins a car, he got an opportunity to get married, learns to walk, starts treatment. It's not easy, guys. But hopefully a little bit of this life story, some of it, maybe not any of it. But dealing with another TBI of getting jumped, and then prior as a child growing up with a TBI where I broke my skull open and was in a coma. At 11 years old, I was changed. I still didn't know what to do. But with passion, I became an artist. As soon as I got eyesight back, I started drawing and painting and I created something called Blind Man's Art. Blindmansart.com is my site. Can't wait to share more. Never giving up means you find new solutions or new ways not to do things you did before. I had to learn what not to do before. Look forward to talking with you again. This is Nicholas with Connecting Survivors. Have a really great day, afternoon, or evening. Thank you so much.